Hey everyone, it is an absolutely gorgeous day here at the lake and on days like today there's nothing I like better than to fire up the Weber kettle here and make some ribs. Now this recipe I found about 20 years ago and it's not your typical low and slow Kansas City style baby back ribs. These ribs are not going to go on for five hours. We're not going to smoke them for a few hours and then wrap them. These are going to go on the grill for about an hour and a half and we're going to rely on that blackberry ginger sauce that's just out of this world. So stick around for some baby back ribs with blackberry ginger sauce right here at the City Escape. The first thing we're going to do is light a chimney full of charcoal. And I'm using lump charcoal today. And we're going to give this a few minutes to get nice and hot. And what I like to do is put down one of these Weber charcoal baskets and I put it down upside down and then dump the charcoal onto the opposite side of the basket so it traps it in there on one side of the grill. Then once you get the coals positioned the way you want them, place on the grates and then place on the lid with the vents wide open. Then once the grates are nice and hot, it's always a good idea to give them a scrape down, get off any food residue that might be on there from a previous cook. And then it's time to place on the baby back ribs and we're going on the opposite side of the fire. So this is called indirect grilling if you're new to grilling. I should also mention that the membrane has been removed from the ribs and I'm keeping the top and bottom vents both wide open. For the sauce, we're going to add one and a quarter cups of rinsed blackberries into a blender. Add a quarter cup of ketchup, a quarter cup of honey, one quarter cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of minced fresh ginger, nice little pinch of salt, some fresh ground black pepper, and a few dashes of your favorite hot sauce. I'm using Susie's. This is from the Caribbean. My wife is from Antigua, and this stuff has an excellent flavor. And now we're going to puree this in your blender or your food processor, and then pour the mixture into a microwave safe bowl. Then cover loosely with plastic wrap, leaving vents for steam to escape when you microwave it. And then after 8 to 10 minutes in the microwave on high, this is what your sauce should look like. absolutely delicious. You're going to love this sauce. Like I said in the intro, it is an absolutely picture-perfect day here at the lake. All right, back to the ribs. So now these have been on for about an hour and a half. And when I flip them over, you can see the meat is pulling back from the bones a little bit on the sides. So we're going to go ahead and sauce these up using our blackberry ginger sauce. Just look at that color. Just gorgeous. Now a short cook like this, you really want to use baby backs as opposed to spare ribs because baby backs are more tender. Spare ribs really do need that longer, you know, more barbecue style cook so that they can get nice and tender, but Baby backs, you can get away with, with a shorter cook for sure. And of course, we will sauce the meat side as well. You know, what I like about this recipe is it's nice to get away from a typical sort of ketchup based barbecue sauce, tomato based barbecue sauce, and try something different. And, you know, fruit apples, you know, these blackberries, they go great, great with pork. So it's just a nice change of pace from your typical barbecue ribs. And at the end of summer, you know, I, I've had enough regular barbecue sauce at this point. I kind of want something different, something that's a little bit um, different than the expected. 
and this sauce is really just a home run. And we'll cover this up and let this go for another 10 to 15 minutes to let that sauce set. Okay, so these ribs are ready to come off the grill. And I gotta tell you, it smells delicious around here. I'm getting very hungry. So ribs are about my favorite thing to cook on the grill. And these baby backs right here with this blackberry ginger sauce do not disappoint. All right, well, I don't know about you, but I am sweating. So we're gonna cut these ribs up. Let's see, I'm gonna flip them over. They're easier to cut when the bone side is facing you. That's what I'm gonna do. Go right in between these bones here. Just like so. to kind of rearrange them a little bit, flip them back over to the pretty side. I'll show you how we serve these up. I want to take some of those and clean this up a little bit. But you want to take some of those blackberries this and just put them here and there around this thing a couple here a couple there there's acorns everywhere falling down from the skies from the heavens and you just want to put these blackberries all around and make this look beautiful Just like so. These are some mint sprigs that I chopped. Just give it a nice little touch of green. Baby back ribs with blackberry ginger sauce. What a way to end a perfect day here at the lake. Okay, it is finally time to give these ribs a taste. Very excited about this. Here we go. Mm. That is nice. So that's, this is the end part. Very tasty. do come right off the bone. Delicious. I'll try one from the middle. Here. You should see my dog. <laughs> I think she's ready for a for a rib. Mm. The mint too. You get that the sweetness of the sauce, the blackberry, the ginger, and then this mint on top. It's not just a garnish, it's really delicious. Mm. Very nice. I'll try one of the smaller pieces from the other end. This is delicious. You know, fruit, 
pairs very well with pork and this is no exception. This sauce is fantastic. So this recipe, since it doesn't require smoking your ribs, you could definitely do this on a gas grill. If you have a Weber Q, these would come out great. So give this recipe a try. The blackberry ginger sauce is out of this world and with the little hint of mint is really, really good. Leave a like if you like this video. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this recipe or other recipes that you might have for sauces for your ribs. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos come out. And of course, keep on grilling.